Hi, this is the second episode in the JavaScript Bushido series where I teach cooks to programming. In the previous video, I went straight into creating a small app. Now this time around, I want to take a step back and show you how to install Cookster from scratch and write a small test app to get you started. I will post links below the video and provide a simple bash script which contains the five steps required. All you have to do to follow along is to get the script below and access to a Unix shell. So let's get started. But before we go to the Unix shell, I wanted to show you a couple of web pages which are related to Cookster. The first one I want to show you is the GitHub repository where you can find the latest and greatest source code. Now you can download it from here or like I'm going to do later on from the bash uh, prompt. Then you have the Cookstu main homepage which is under cookstu.org and you have the API documentation online where you can find any uh, information, all the information about API functions and attributes. And finally I wanted to show you the Gitter chat page for Cookstu which is fairly active and if you have questions you can you're definitely free to post it there and you're most likely going to find that somebody is going to help you out. So with that out of the way let's get started on the Unix shell. So here you go this is my Unix shell in my case it's bash on Linux but uh, other shells in Mac OS X should work the same way. The first thing we have to do is to do git clone on github.com cookstu slash cookstu.git this will pull the latest source code from github and uh, download all the objects now as you can see the download starts and it's very slow so in order to keep it short I will forward to the end of the download so and now that we are almost done downloading let's wait until the last percentage is done uh, the next thing that we have to do is actually to create a workspace and I create it in the same uh, directory as Cookstu itself. So now it's resolving the deltas. And there we go. So you'll see that the Cookstu source code is here and I can take a quick peek in there. But as I said, um, in order to create your first application, just create a workspace. Well, we should actually create a, uh, a workspace directory. So make here. Okay, and then we're changing into this workspace directory. And from here on, we call a script, we call this create application script, which, if you remember correctly, was in the that dash dash cooks do, and then the script. And then we pass it uh, some attributes, namely, we need to pass it the name. Demo app, and uh, that should be it. If I can type. And we're all done. So we just created the first app. Now, how do we get this app started? We uh, change into this directory. And uh, in this directory, again, there's a create, or there, sorry, there's a generate Python script. Now, you have to compile Cooks to Applications to, in order to, call, uh, to get all the classes and to minify the JavaScript code. So let's go ahead and do this generate Python and then we want to create the build. Uh, there are different ways of different things that we can build. Uh, it's either build or source, which are the most common ones. And you use the, uh, the source, so you would type in source here. You would use this to, uh, to actually go ahead if you want to debug the application. So it would not minify the code. But now that we have uh, built the actual release candidate, we can go ahead and start it with a uh, group code and then we're gonna just going to call build and index.html so this is the application that was created if I click this button there's not a lot that is going to happen just a simple alert is popping up saying hello world so let's go ahead and modify this so in here we are uh, we have to change into the source directory and inside the source directory it looks very much like Java we're going to change to class and then the demo app which is the only directory in there and then we can we finally have the JavaScript code here which we can modify so the main JavaScript file is the application.js and in here all we want to do or want to modify is actually remove or replace this alert that was there before 
and then just type one more thing. Let's create a Windows uh, QX and QI. Uh, and then we set the caption. Demo up. And then we're going to set a couple of other attributes. Set. And we set the width to say 400 and the height to say 300. And then um, since we want to place the window a little bit off from the from the zero zero position in the top corner, let's do this. Window set layout properties. And we say we go from the top, say 100, and let's do the same thing from the uh, from the left side. Also, about 100, 100 pixels. And then finally, we say window show, and we are done. So now let's go back up to where we were before. Let's create. Let's call the uh, create. Uh, sorry, they generate Python script again with build. That's going to get rebuilt. And then Chrome, build, index, HTML. And then here you go. This is the app in its modified form. So if I click on this, uh, the window opens and I can move it around. And uh, as you can see, it's about 100 from the left, 100 from the top, just like uh, we want it. This concludes the second episode in the JavaScript Bushido series. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can find a link to the source code below. Also included is a text file describing the few steps required to set up your first Cooks2 application. You can leave me a comment here or visit my blog under softwaresamurai.org where you will find more information about JavaScript, Cooks2 or programming in general. Also, please let me know if there is a certain topic or problem you want me to talk about in one of the future episodes. I'm always open for suggestions. I hope to see you back soon.